Hello everybody and welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. We are here once again within the Cursed Estate and we have one hell of an episode ready for you guys today. People over in the writing room have gone absolutely crazy with this episode and we have a lot of backstory and lore to go over which I'm super excited about. It's of course going to mean a little bit of a longer episode. We're going to be reading a little bit more. Um, my dyslexia is crying inside but goddamn I'm really excited because there is some really, really, really good writing uh, coming out of the this team here. So if, if anyone still wants to join feel free to uh, give, a, give a message and when the slot is available we can see if you can uh, join. But yes, um, we are... Uh, we're kind of ready to go here. Of course, we do have two backstories in our Wraith and Leper to go into. And then, yeah, we have nine diary entries today. We have quite a few. So we're going to be going through. So what I've done to start with here is I've set up a team of people that are a little bit lower level. I want to try and get them to level two. Because as we can see, we've got a level three now. We've got quite a few level two. So we want to be trying to level up our level ones. Uh, so I'm bringing out... Lysander because he's a great healer, Chaos because he is a tank, we're also giving him the Guts Dragon Slayer along with the exotic snuff to give him that tiny bit of extra accuracy uh, which should hopefully help a bit. We've got the Thanatos combo with uh, Nyx as well because these two work very well together. I'm giving her that accuracy to sort of try and offset this a little bit, the constantly watched, and we'll see how these play together. I think this could be quite good. I think it could be quite a fun um, fun one. We're going to go into the curve and grab another Shepherd's Garb, just because it's a um, short mission, um, and then we're probably going to head over and do a medium mission straight after that. But first of all, let's get into our backstories here. So first off, we have um, has, has, has Hazashi? I don't know exactly how to pronounce that. Has, has, Hazashi? Hazashi. Um, our Wraith. So this is a really cool class actually. Uh, we can probably play around with the abilities but basically this guy is going to be very very good at bleeding and stunning and you get some really good bonuses on bleed and mark as well. Um, so we can take Reap as our first move. Incarcerate it's really good for backline stunning. This is um, really good for frontline stunning. This is really good for mid stunning. So th there's all sorts of stuff we can do here but I'll probably go with... Um, Maybe the hook and slice is really, really good here. Uh, giving him sort of that mid-range ability there. And we'll try that out and see how that goes. Because that should do pretty well for us. And we have the ability to stun any location. Um, as well as dealing some really good damage. And we get that bonus damage if the enemy's below 66% HP as well. So let's get into the backstory. This one's by um, Dr. Sandwich Junkie. So he's going to be doing both backstories for today. But let's get in into it. Born in the Far East... Um, Has Hasisha? I, I still don't know how to pronounce that. Born in the Far East, Hasisha had been a violent man all his life. From fighting with his children um, in school at a young age to his teens where he even killed his own father in a duel. Up to the recent years where he sells himself as a mercenary. But the money, it's secondary. A, necess a necessity to keep him armed and alive so he can keep up his reign of bloodshed and continue the trail of corpses he cleaved through the continents. The rare survivors of his gruesome assaults have spread the name Wraith around for him. A dealer of death so effective, it's as if he was sent by the afterlife itself. His travels took him to a strange town with a strange feeling in the air. But word in the surrounding area is that there's no shortage of blood to shed here for those willing to brave the nightmares and the horrors of the estate before putting them down. Perfect. Really, really good backstory there. I'm really looking forward to playing with Wraith a little bit. And then we have um, Awali. Awali? Awali? You're going to have to give me some pronunciation guides here. Uh, but this, of course, is the uh, the leper. Everyone knows and loves the leper. Um, I think we'll go with this here um, and set up for a pretty good... Actually, we should maybe... Hmm. Oh, this does both accuracy. Okay, we'll take that. Yeah. Okay. Um, we'll, we'll set up for this guy being a real power hitter here. Um, and also, by the way, if people want a specific color for their uh, heroes, you can let me know. Um, this this one's defaulted at green, but if, if you want me to choose a specific skin, then I can take a little look and um, we can choose them based on that. Anyways, um, let's get into the backstory here for our walleye. Um, and this one is really, really good. Again, by Dr. Sandwich Junkie here. His skin peels, his burn it and his flesh turns to ash with every step he takes through the bloodied executioner's block. The shattered greatsword in his trembling hands will forever be a reminder of what happened here. 
He takes a laboured breath as he remembers. The village, the rot disease, the people counting on his sacrifice to cure them. The village shaman help, uh, helped him to fight the rot disease that took over their small community. Herbs, blessings, and even more modern medicine did nothing for the people. Out of options, Awale asked the shaman to contact the dark gods, um, the dark god the small community worshipped to beg for help. And help would come, but for a cost. Health and blood. Health in Awale's urn. He'd receive an affliction in exchange for his people being cured. Blood in the form of sacrifice of something most dear to him, and thus what lay before him on the chopping block. The, de the de de decapitated, lifeless body of his only son, barely old enough to be considered a man. Next to him, the upper half of the blade split on contact with the stern slab. As the, gaggle, uh, as the gaggle of fanatics, villagers cheered and applauded their newfound health, the grieving protector would rise on a shaking legs, don his mask and walk somewhere into the wild forest um, surrounding the village, wandering in search of a new purpose or a swift death. My goodness, that is a fantastic backstory. I mean, the all are, but goddamn, he has... Some sadness within him, and he is he is basically out to either kill or be killed, and he doesn't really care which one. So that's that's going to be rather interesting to play as him, and um, hopefully he can find a new purpose here before he uh, before he perishes and um, try to make a real difference. But of course, we will embark on into the curve here. Uh, this is just complete 100% of rune battles. It really shouldn't be too troubling for us. We have good damage in these two. We have uh, a good bit of healing in the... Um, well, healing and protection, should I say, in these two. And obviously, Lysander has some good heals as well. I'm really excited to try out this trinket setup as well. So let's grab 12 food here. Uh, we'll go with... Four shovels, we'll go with one of them, two of them, three of them, two of them, one of them, and ten torches. Okay, good to go, we'll embark and then we'll get into, of course, our diary entries. We have many to go through this episode, so I'm going to read two here off the bat. So let's get into our first one. This is for Eileen, of course, our ringmaster um, by Penn Simmons. The excursion went great. I got to experience the religious favour of the Crusader in action. There was a terrifying necromancer deep in the runes. I joined Renault to exterminate the fool. The necromancer did not put on a good show. He was barely an inconvenience, but slamming my mace into his face was very satisfying. Also, Koshkin, a bounty hunter, and ba Basila, the heir of the estate herself, tagged along. Time for my thoughts. Koshkin. He was adequate. I didn't much care for how he reacted to the um, particularly wonderful ways I kept up morale. He's just here for the money. He has no love for the performance, but he did not know how to. Uh, but he did know how to set up a good fight. I can appreciate that. I did not expect him to even uh, to ever warm to the theatrics. The theatrics disappointing, but he'll definitely be useful. Renault. Oh, what a man! Dispatching the undead like he was scratching an itch, showing all the charisma and um flourish flourish of a good baby face. I could do without the warrior of the light motif, but with all the depraved, blood-stabbed ma madmen in the ring, we could use a good man. He might have real potential, if I could only get him to lose that helmet. And Basilla, our employer. What ferocity in that little frame. Climbing the ruins on her lonesome. I like her. She has spunk, but I think the breeze could blow her over. She is a great support. I mean, without her, I don't have a sure. But that is kind of the point. She would be killed, then I don't have a job. I give her 0 out of 5 out of necessity. She is cute though, and she earned a today's prize. Love that. And then a uh, diary entry by Dr. Sandwich Junkie for Basilla, um, our heir. Those dusty old ruins and the dusty old skeletons. I thought I was done with those when I went through them the first time, but it would seem my 8th brother or 20th cousin or whatever it is has located something in need of care down there, in addition to a looming threat. I smile as I write the word threat, as it was anything but. They call uh, him a necromancer, but he was embarrassment to the arts. A heavily, a heavy hit in holy man and the cell sword put him down quickly. No muss, no fuss. Conveniently enough, he was the one guarding the relic that may, um, that my relative was seeking. The only one among the party I can't figure out is the woman with the gaudy helmet and the flair for excessiveness. She seems to not understand or not care about the gravity or necessity of our actions. Nor did she seem to care about our little band um, being less than thrilled by her theatrics. Like, she's just doing it for herself. I can respect that much, and I can at least appreciate the gift she presented me. Whatever it is. 
I'll find a way to return the kindness eventually. And a pretty smile amongst the muck and gore is, welcome, uh, is a welcome respite for, for the eyes. Great stuff there, guys. Great stuff. Really looking forward to getting into the future ones here. But let's jump in and see how we do. For some reason, um, our... our Thrall, okay, this keeps getting these random quest-based debuffs. If anyone knows why that is, um, please let me know, because last last mission we had a speed debuff with him, and this time we have a bleed resist debuff, and I'm not really sure where they're coming from. Okay, we can remove a ne negative quirk here. Pessimist would be absolutely fantastic to get rid of. Um, filthy would be good to get rid of as well. Um, so would Constant Watch. I think I'm going to try and get rid of... Um, get rid of pessimist here unfortunately the other two here aren't exactly amazing to get rid of but i think the the, the chance for removing pessimist is just so high ah witness unfortunately damn it um but we can try and remove more as we go ahead if we find any more of those um as the light gains purchase, those curios spirits are lifted right let's go ahead purpose is made clear purpose is made clear Okay, we do have a madman to start, which is probably going to hit us. We unfortunately, as this team, have relatively low speed. These two are going to go first. These two are definitely going to go last. The stress on Lazander, he did, of course, take a lot of stress last time. Um, might might prove to be not great, but we'll we'll take the chance anyways. We'll go with some high damage here and get a dodge. Unfortunately, he does, of course, take pure damage on his attacks, but that's no problem. Okay, so we'll go with that there. And we could do a stress heal here. Um, we, could cure, we can cure Blight and Bleed and do a block. Let's just add a block to you for now and leave it at that. Unfortunately, guarding the Madman there is really, really bad for us. Um, I'm going to go with the stun here and hope for the best because that can... Uh, get rid of that guard and we can actually take out the madman one problem we do have here that um that i've noticed which is a little bit scary is that we don't have stress healing or at least a lot of it we have a little bit with nyx and we also don't have a lot of backline damage um which is gonna basically cause some problems with um the constantly interfering stress but we're just gonna have to sort of fight through and hope for the best here so stress heals when plausible are gonna be good we'll see kind of what what we get out of that that backline damage actually isn't as bad as I would have thought. Um, it, it can be pretty good. We'll go for the, the heal and guard here on this guy. We can guard you, and I I don't know how that works with the repost, actually. Maybe that's really good. Maybe it doesn't do much. Um, we can go with Tremors for a, a single target, and it's a, it's random, so it, like I say, it might not hit who we want, but it stuns regardless, so it's kind of nice. Hopefully, he starts getting attacked for that repost, because Chaos... He can really do some crazy damage. There you go. There's our first hit, but... Oh, uh, of course. The guard for the stress. That didn't really work out the way I was hoping. Okay, so we don't want to be guarding people with repurse. That doesn't work the way I assumed it would, unfortunately. Um, we'll go with that and keep reducing a little bit of stress. It's not much, but three on everyone is nothing to turn our nose up at. This attack's really nice as well. I'm liking this. Okay. Finally got that madman down. Give them no quarter. Damage here is going to be good. Let's try and take That's you out as well. Very nice, Sanatos. And yeah, we just keep reducing that stress. Remember, we get a bit more stress reduction when they're below 50% HP as well, which is going to be nice. Let's go for a stun here. We do get extra damage against stunned targets. We'll just go with a, a nice heavy hit from Chaos there. And we're feeling good about that already. Okay, so stress, obviously, on Xander here is going to be rough. Um, we're going to be having to manage that. I think him coming out after uh, going a little bit mad in his last excursion maybe wasn't the best idea, but he, regardless of his feelings and how inadequate that made him feel and how ill-prepared it might have made him feel... I think he I think he has the muster and the, the sort of courage to keep pushing forward, especially when he knows people need him, and people here clearly do. I mean, I'm sure the I'm sure Nyx and Thanatos may seem a little scary to him, um, in just their beliefs and, and how they are. I'm sure that that's a 
a little bit concerning, people sort of playing around with the darkness rather than the light, but he can he can surely uh, make up for it. Oh god, 12 there, right. Heal on you. These two are going to be problematic here, um, but that, Literated. chaos, chaos, chaos. I absolutely love to see that. That is awesome. Blow down here is going to be pretty rough. Um, fortunate there. Our healing ability isn't particularly great here. We don't have a ton of heals, but I think with the Aegis being able to stop that damage, it's not so bad. Let's give him a bit of a heal as well. And I really like the fact that it gives you restoration as well. I know that hit that guy, but hopefully it takes him down pretty quickly. That's a nice kill. We're getting a lot of crits here, which I really like for reducing that stress. Really, really nice. Uh, we'll do another stress heal here. And he's getting that five stress heal because he's lower on HP as well, which is nice. I'm always going to proc that thing that, that gives us more stats, um, this ability here, because even though I'm not going to play to its strengths all the time, I'm not always going to let my guys get low. It's if they do, we get a bit of extras, so it's, it's kind of nice to have sort of thing. That's you dead. K is yet to miss, which is just impeccable. I really love to see it. Nice hit there. And a stun as well, because we're at low HP. So again, we love to see it. We can go for a bit more stress healing here. And our stress levels are actually looking really good, apart from on um, the man himself. A momentary abatement. We'll just finish you off with that. Broken. There you go. Maintain the offensive. Okay, not not going so badly so Be far. May we find Scouting victory. is fantastic here. We're getting a lot of good scouts. Double curios this way as well, and there you go. Once again, please get rid of Pessimist this time. Come on, you know you can do it. Yes. Okay, that saves us a bunch of money and is honestly a quirk that we've needed to remove so badly. So it's really, really nice to get rid of that so early. Um, curve is really nice for that. Curve is dangerous, but it has some really, really good uses um, for actually like quirk removal and stuff. Um, we're probably going to take some damage here. Um, oh, thank you. Kind of glad that you uh, buffed up that guy because he's going to be the first to die. We're going to just focus entirely on killing him right now. The stun there with the low HP is really, really nice. Um, let's put that on you. I don't know how this works, actually. Does, it, does he still take stress from being hit? He doesn't. Okay, nice. Uh, we're going to go for a strike there, and that's taking you out. I would have rather gone for a heal there, but obviously that guy can do the explodey explodies, and it could be problematic. We'll get our repurse going here. We do have a slightly uh, reduced repurse damage uh, as this guy. And we get stress wave on the back line there. That's a huge amount of stress coming in on him. Right off the bat. We all get a stress reduction of three. I'm going to go with this just because I'd rather try and take out the back line early. The damage we take there isn't great, especially with the added repurse. But this repurse here, just about to say, it could be huge, and it was. Right, let's do some let's do some healing focusing now. Um, let's try and heal you up a little bit. I realize you thrive on low HP, but it still scares me a little. Bit of damage there. We need to get KS back up to a decent amount of HP if possible. We're probably gonna take another stress wave. Yes, we are. That does deal damage though. And then we'll do this, which is a health sort of trade here. Good. Good amount of stress reduction there. I have a mod as well that tells us the exact, like, where 50% HP is, which is super nice. That I'm not a big fan of. Take you out. Get good stuff. Battle straight away here, which does, does definitely spell out some risk. Chaos is actually looking okay right now. He doesn't even... He might not even need to go to the bar directly after. Normally, he is straight on the drink after an adventure, but... I mean, he went into the bar with Hestia recently, didn't he? And uh, it kind of drank her under the table. Um, but now we're getting that big damage buff here, look. Um, I'm gonna go with the block here. And I'm gonna start doing some stuff here. Um, 
yeah, big damage bonus there. Gotta, gotta love that. And minus 12 damage on you as well. Uh, I'm gonna go with the guard here, um, and I'm gonna do it on you to keep you at low HP without having to heal you. Um, unfortunately, basically just lost all the health we gained there. Holy shit, Chaos, you beast. He's he's really come into his own over the past few weeks of being in this Hamlet here. Really come into his own and showed his true worth. It's it's quite amazing. Now, I'm, I'm still a little bit worried about the, the low health that we're all on right now. Um, let's do that. Uppercut there is not great for us. Try and heal you up a little bit. Oh, there's our first miss with Chaos. It was bound to happen at some point. Bound to happen at some point. But it's not been terrible. Go for the stress healing across the board here. I'm really not liking the health that we're on with Lysander here, especially with that bleed. Um, let's go for a heal here and cure that bleed off. Very, very nice. We'll go for a guard here for a bit more healing. And there's another brutal assault. I mean, has he hit anyone without killing them yet? He seems to be getting one-hit kills pretty regularly here. It's very, very nice. Um, just go for the kill. Unfortunately, the dodge there is really not what we're looking for. Nice dodge. A stress heal is, is very much coming in use here. Um... Let's give Nyx a little bit of a heal, because Nyx has kind of a low HP. And then another one-hit kill. We did get a little bit Success. more food there. So we could maybe um, gobble up some food. Or oh, wait. Did I not bring out any food? Oh, no, it's here. Light. I see it. Uh, let's, let's gobble up a little bit of food here. Just in case. Uh, to get everyone on a bit more even playing field in terms of their HP. Mailoom's there. And we got 50, 70, 60. Ooh, we're really not looking great for track this arm here. But Nyx proves that she can do it even if she has zero stress to recover. Maybe um, her and her sisters did some research into the traps. You see, we got another one here. So now I reckon we go for one on Chaos here because pretty much all of his quirks are pretty bad. Um, so, weakened repost is nice. He has a repost, so getting weakened repost on him is not great. We do get a hunger check here. The way is lit. The and we do have a battle. This could be our last battle. Again, we focus down our uh, Thrall here. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Yeah, let's get this going again. I'm actually going to go with Condemn off the bat here and hope it hits. Just for those pretty big debuffs to his speed. Well, I said pretty big. Debuffs to his speed are pretty nice. Um, go for more healing on Chaos here. And then we'll take this guy out with Chaos. I think we can one-hit him pretty effectively. Well, that's not what I meant. I meant with Chaos, but <laughs> it worked out exactly as planned. This guy's going to pull himself to the front. He's he's guarded at the minute, which is not great. Um, oh, God. Okay, no, the guard, the guard got taken off of him. One-hit kill. One-hit kill. <laughs> Chaos... This might be the most powerful we've ever seen him. And the thing is, because he's getting crit so regularly, he's just clearing his own stress constantly. Like, he, he he's meant to be someone that has that builds up stress quite quickly, and he's just never got any stress. It's it's quite it's quite amazing. And we've managed to actually get Lysander down to a, a pretty respectable level in terms of stress as well. I like that. I'm trying to lower his health below 50% to get those extra stress heals going. Nice hit. No bleed, though. Because if we get five stress, we can get him down to a respectable level. Don't really care about the repursts here. Just keep going with the heals. Sea Spray. Kind of annoying, especially for the move, but this move specifically didn't matter at all. There's another one-hit kill. This guy won't be able to be one-hit killed because he's got a lot of prop, unfortunately. Right, stress heal again. Let's heal you up and clear that bleed. Ah, unfortunately our health is too high to clear the bleed. I didn't realize that at the time. Block you. 
bandage up here. Why not? Decent hit. We get the bleed and the push. Trade some health there. This has been quite a good group. This is, they've stayed kind of low HP, but it's not been a bad thing, particularly. We should have really we should should really clear the bleed on this guy as soon as possible. That's a nice crit there as well. Ooh, we got a summoning page. We also got an Remind epic houndmaster. That's pretty good. Okay, I'm gonna continue here and bandage up. Let's just see what we get out of the holy water for this. I'll have to clear up a bit more stress from this guy if I can. Gave him just 18% damage. Okay. Um, of course, it's a risk, but I'm going to carry on a little bit here in the hopes that we can um, grab a bit more treasure and maybe do a tiny bit more stress healing would be really nice. Uh, da -da -da -da. I don't think there's anything I want to get rid of here. Although, I'd like to start another money stack just in case. Let's get rid of the holy water and start another money stack. Mind that such it's not great. We don't have any more battles uh, in the rooms. We might have hallway battles, but... So we do have another one of these, which is really unfortunate that we don't have. That's like the most you can find in a solo mission, I think. But Okay, we're all done here. There's nothing else to see. Good to go. Really happy with how that went. It was a very quick mission. Um, good bit of money, and we'll see what, what we did uh, in terms of... Concussive. Oh... That is so good, Lysander. And Savage Slayer is also really, really good. In fact, I think I'm going to lock that in. Um, that's good. We got a lot of good stuff there. I think I'm going to lock in, um, in that there. All regions the now hold powerful enemies. Feelings. As evidence of your hero's exploits begin to spread, um, dreaded behemoths championed through might and malice. Heed, to urge, uh, heed the urge to hunt them down. Okay, so, it appears some new enemies are approaching from the Hebe, Hebe Monsters mod. But yeah, first of all, let's just unequip all of our trinkets, sort them. And yeah, let's let's bring in Chaos here. And we want to lock in this. That is um, really good because extra accuracy is fantastic against both human and beast. But also that crit's pretty nice too. So we're going to lock that in. Um... And set him off there. Let's see our stage coach here. Just level ones for now. Um, we do have a shield breaker, of which I'm very interested in. We also have a Duchess 2, which I'm a big fan of as a class. But I think I think the ability to play this guy in multiple different ways means we should definitely bring on a shield breaker here. Um, really excited to, to bring that class aboard. We'll see if we have anything good in the Nomad Wagon here. Um... 20% maximum damage, 15 skill uh, uh, skill chance melee skills. Um, that's interesting. Sisters, the air for protection. Kind of nice. Okay, they're okay, but nothing amazing. We also do have now the chance to uh, buy these trinkets, uh, which are the ones that, of course, we were given by the Ringmaster. The Ringmaster has kind of set up a little shop here for us, but as you can clearly tell, we are quite a ways of being able to afford anything of the like here. These are um, really, really expensive, but we can kind of get a sneak peek now at what some of them do, um, which is really nice. Crusader gets extra damage and accuracy and crit against low HP enemies. The Grave Robber here gets some self buffs. Bounty Hunter is just straight up a lot of damage. Wow. Okay, there's some good stuff here, but we're quite a ways of being able to afford any of that. Uh, anyways, let's get into some more diary entries here, of course. We have a few more to go through. So, Delmar, our, um, our, what's that? Ex um, exterminator, sorry, yeah. I was going to say executionist, exterminator, of course. Um, this is a diary entry for him. So, day one of the second season at the estate. Um, having assistance in the job is a nice change of pace. I'm not used to working with a team, but I'm glad I have the company. I think my days of cleansing these lands alone are past me. If I had to make it another winter, I can't continue alone. It is odd. However, working with those personal spiritual missions within the estate, I suppose I am one of the few contracted workers, but going to the estate when you don't have to seems an unwise choice. I will do my job, 
keep the locals alive, exterminate the pests, and keep my family fed. That's what I'm here to do. Distractions lead to mistakes. And considering the purpose of these strange um, companions has no merit. And considering the purpose of these strange companions has no merit. They fight the pests, same as me. And that is enough. Perhaps I will have more tomorrows. Interesting enough. And then we have a diary entry from a character that we haven't actually come across yet. So I'm just going to read it as it is. A letter found in the mouth of a caved-in skull, written in something that may or may not be blood. Day something of whatever month in some year, Captain's Log. I've been wandering these ruins for days now, I think. And I thought I saw a young lady summon tentacles to kill or to re-kill the skeletons. It was badass. My imagination is really good. I still kept out of sight just in case she wasn't a figment of my imagination. She seemed to just vanish, so I probably was imagining things. It's been weeks, I think. Oh, oh, I have a name now. Well, I gave myself a name. Batman. I wanted to call myself Batman because of the bat, you know, but it seemed to be a bit on the nose and offensive to those winged rodents. My quest, or at least what I'm doing until I can find my way out of this place, is to hit things with the bat that looks dangerous. I feel like that might help whoever keeps opening all these chests I can't open. And maybe if I find out I'm doing that, um, if they find out I'm doing that, they may give me some cool things, like a new bag. Maybe one that isn't coated in viscera, but I'm not picky. Oh, I should leave this note here in this guy's mouth for them to find. Then I can follow the note back to the village. I'm sure that will work. It's better than the plan of riding that deer with tentacles. The biting was not pleasant. <laughs> I really, really like that. That's really good. Basically, this is a character that we're waiting to sort of come aboard um, that uh, <laughs> hasn't turned up yet and the writer is anxiously awaiting their arrival and so they've written a diary entry for them while they're wandering around the ruins. So now we can build a new team for a new area here. So let's have a look what we've got going on. So if we go and do the Sauron Prophet, we get the Iron Suit for 100% resolve XP. That's actually rather interesting. Um, straight up double the leveling speed sounds pretty useful. Um, we've also got a Siren here. On attack... Debuff target. That's kind of interesting, but not crazy good. Duelist. The Cleric. Ooh, 20% healing skill. That is a medium level 2. I'm certainly tempted by that, because healing skill on him is, of course, really good. We also have uh, this here, too. Plague Doctor. Friendly skill. That's actually pretty interesting. Um, I think I'm going to go for this, though. Back into the curve again on a medium level 2 mission. Um, and we, we take, we try and get the prayer book here. So we're going to have to build a team for this, of course. And that, that definitely spells trouble. So let's take a little look. Um, we definitely want to bring Awali here, uh, because he's just really good. In fact, I probably want to bring both of these guys. Um, because I know that bleed isn't super good here, but the ability to stun is pretty awesome. In fact, I could probably take off all my stu uh, abilities to, um, bleed and just go with stun. And he'd be pretty darn useful. Um, of course, as I've said before, if we ever get the opportunity early on to bring um, Eileen, we should. Just because of her uh, camping ability to give us a trinket. We really want to get those whenever we can. Um, in fact, let's let's go with this here. And uh, we'll keep her in the back line. She comes up to position 2. That pushes you to position 3. Which isn't great, actually. Um... Take a little look here. Push you to position three. I suppose I could go with this and then keep him as maybe just stun and then hook and slice when we can for the shuffle. I know the bleed won't hit very often, um, but it might work. We could also go with the always crit, which is kind of nice. In fact, let's let's do that. We've got two ways of guaranteeing crits. Um, I know that this here is uh, not a guaranteed crit. It's um, just in a double crit chance. Let's try that out. Um, and that pushes you to second position. And then we want someone in the back line here. Um, rather tricky. I don't know who we want to take here. Because we could take Titania. Uh, but I'm kind of more on board with taking Basilla here. 
Um, just because even though you're a lower level and will gain some stress, your, your healing is pretty strong. And um, we want to get you leveled up anyways. Let's have a look. Or we could take Kimber Morgan, but her healing is definitely not as good. Um, definitely not as good. Although, let's... Let's just take her along and just take a little look at skills here. Let's go back to sort by level and head up to the top here. So level three, level three. Yeah, so we can buff up these. Um, we don't need the stun. Let's go with the cure blight and bleed here. Um, and we got the stress heal if we need it. And then we got all of these as well. So let's go... Like that. And then like that and that. That and that. Okay, so of course Kimber's going to come in slightly weaker, which is scary. But I think this is the best way to do it, to try and level her up quickly um, and keep her in line. Um, of course, we also have a self-heal here as well, so we don't need healing as much there. Uh, let's take a look at embarking here. And we want to, of course shrink it up correctly here so let's go so i think here this is obvious we of course want to take the 20 percent damage there and probably also want to take this too uh the 50 percent damage when acting first isn't like super useful for us but there you go 49 hp you have 37 okay so you have 25 so you want to take this and one of them and you only have 26 so you want to take this and Hmm. Maybe go with this so we can, like, opening move, do a, a big strike. Um. And then Wraith is Wraith is lacking here, so let's see what, what Wraith could take. Move skill chance is pretty good, even though it lowers our speed. Um. Yeah, uh, I don't want. I don't want to lower my accuracy. Actually, let's just let's just go with this. We'll leave a trinket slot because we could we could find a trinket that we might want to use. I think this is a pretty good crew. I think these guys should do reasonably well here. Um, hopefully, um, we can do some good stuff. Basically, my my play style here is we pull everything to the front to let Awale Awale just absolutely demolish. And we stun as much as we can here and pull with with this. Um, and heal up here, of course. One to, weird that it's one to four, but there you go. Um, and five to six here, but that's that's kind of an interesting party heal. And then, of course, Cure Blight bleeds really nice. And then, um, Eileen will just do her thing. And I think we're good to go here. So let's uh, let's get our provisions ready. This is a medium mission, so of course we want to have twenty food. We want to take. Oopsie. Four shovels. Um, we can take three of those. Four of those. Five of those. Three of those. Two of those. And... 14 torches. Right, let's embark once again and get ready. Okay, some more dire entries, of course. We have one from our commander, um, the Man at Arms. For week one by Lamika. Expedition successful. All threats eradicated. No ally casualties. Nah. I don't even know why I'm still writing like this. I don't have to make these anymore. Guess I'm just, um, I guess I'm just writing this, if not for the sake of old times, to make sure my hand with the quill isn't as rusty as I first thought. The expedition, as I had said at first, proved to be successful. But the things we had to face out there... What seemed like flies, the size of men, crows infested with pulsating masses of flesh. I still can't get all the rot of the uh, rot off of me that they threw at me. Witches with the power of destroying your mind. I saw what they were capable of once um, they brought that poor cleric in front of me. A, um, a certain Lysander, his name was, to the brink of insanity. And murderous fungi using deer as hum and human corpses as, as, as a carcass. If those brigands weren't enough uh, of a threat already, whatever um, were those things out there were likely to make defending this place even worse than I thought. I think I'll go to the Abbey once Lasagna finally um, stops hoarding it for himself 
even if people here seem to be strong uh, enough to face these foul beasts and survive, praying to the light for the safety couldn't hurt in such dire times. Absolutely love that. Right. Let's continue on in here and see how we go. Rarity. This is the only thing I'm worried about here, is coming out with Morgan here, slightly less. lower level. Spooky. This is our first level 2 mission. Um... We do have to collect the Ancestor's Relics, which means we need inventory space. It also means we basically have to explore everywhere here, which is certainly not great. I also didn't check for Nighttime Ambush again. Um, I always forget about that. There it is, look. Prevent Nighttime Ambush. Ah, oh, bollocks. <laughs> I always forget to check. It's, it's such a difficult thing to remember to do. Um, but there, there you go. That's just kind of how it happens. Anyways, we should be able to dispatch people pretty easily here. Um, Eileen taking some backline, uh, hitting some backline damage right off the bat. Um, and also she's going to be, remember, um, giving everyone some rousing encouragement. Uh, that's not good stress off the bat there. But we'll see, we'll see. Honestly, just clear stress off ourselves here. Six stress heal is pretty good. Um, we go for that. The lowest roll he can possibly get on damage there. Not too happy with that. Crit, because it's automatic crit at lower level. We'll definitely go for those whenever we can. Friend there. We can actually go with fan favorite here, which basically means that we can buff his damage by a large amount. Even though it doesn't give us a stat there, it, 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 st it still gives us it. And when he gets a kill, it's going to stress heal everyone. 45. That's what we like to see. There you go, the roses. Gotta love it. Nice heal there. Nice one and a stun. I think this is actually going to be a group that really works quite well. And the only big problem is potentially going to be uh, stress dealers in the back line. Also, hitting with this multiple times is good because it just keeps lowering speed. Motivational there for that extra damage. Honestly, while he's stunned, just keep getting rid of that stress. I don't want to stall too much, but... When we get kills with this guy, uh, we'll leave that for now. Just help us all out. But yeah, this is this is going to be fun. It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, I don't want to use too many medical herbs on these, but I will take some more food. A and a Jude more. Tapestry. Wow, I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting food, not a Jude Tapestry. But 4,500 per one of those. I like that a lot. Also, right now, we just managed to get through all of that without um, taking any damage. Okay, so we don't need to do any stress heal here. We're just going to touch this in the herbs that we get the resists. And we did. Nice one. Huge resists until camp. Of course, it is only until camp and we are going to be camping here, but we'll see how that goes. Actually, I'm really glad that I kept a trinket slot here because if we get a, a trinket from our skill here that can be used on anyone, it means we don't have to keep it in our inventory and waste the slot. Good stuff. And here's our first one here. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave that there. And um, actually, does that make any sense? Yes, it does. Yes, it does. I'm going to leave that there and then come back for it later. Um, just so we've got more inventory space to work with. It means we can pick m more stuff up and it means we'll probably end up using our anti-venom and all that good stuff rather than wasting them. 70, 80, 90. Nice one, Aline. Aline's going to be coming on a lot of quests early on. We want as many of her trinkets early as we can possibly get. Another Jude Tapestry. What the heck? <laughs> That's so, so good. Holy hell. Also, the scouting is particularly amazing. I like that. Another disarm there. Okay, so far things are going well. Another one of these. We, we ha Considering we keep getting Jude Tapestries, we have to keep trying. Okay, not a Jude Tapestry, but we did get that. Unfortunately, this Lamia Trinket, I like it, but I think it's going to have to go eventually because I just don't think we'll have the space. More scouting. Curia. We might as well just check what this is. The box. Yeah, we're already going to get rid of it. I like the trinket, but I'd rather get money to be able to buy trinkets I like or upgrade people. It's way more valuable to me. Nice. Remove that six stress there. Lovely. Here we go. Okay, so. Not amazing. 
That neglect isn't great. Randomly attacking allies. That's kind of fine. Mark by the flock. Okay, let's go with this. Ah, skeptic got removed rather than neglect. That's fine. Dude, the scouting right now is obscenely good. I don't know what's going on, but I like it. Okay, I need to make room for this now. Um, holy water we'll get rid of. We got a battle on the way back. That's not a big problem. Okay, not terrible. I'm going to go with the Hue here to try and take them both out in one hit. Um, stress, stress. Okay, clear stress from you. Take you out. <sighs> Unfortunately, not the one hit kill I was hoping for. I will do this to try and stun you both. Very nice. And that kills both of you. Awesome. Unfortunately, I don't think this works if it's the last enemy. So I'm going to kill this guy and see if it gives us the stress heal. But I don't think it will. Because it's the last enemy. Destroyed. Yeah, unfortunately it doesn't. Oh, Wraith. Okay, we did get a... We did get a Wraith skill here, which is pretty interesting. Um, I guess I'll just take that. Thank you. Um, we can just... This is tricky. Why do we only have two shovels? I probably should have brought more than that. Oh, no. We, we just have extra shovels, I see. Um, I'm going to get rid of those extra shovels. I don't think we need them. Okay, guys. Let's continue on. This is a really, really good group so far. They are stomping through the challenges that have been faced ahead of them. I didn't expect um, Awali here to have quite as much favour, um, quite as much of a, a thirst for blood as he would, but Packs really proving to be quite loot. strong. Are often low on supplies. We're yet to need to camp. The longer we can go without... Oh my... Fuck. Um, quest location. Okay, so we've got one quest location here, but goddamn, look at the curios. I'm not going to take that yet in case we do get some unexpected walls here. This is our first rather tough battle here. Um, if we can take this guy out, oh, come on. You're always like one hit off. Six. Get rid of that. One to three. Three to six. Let's try and get a kill here. Unfortunately not. Let's get double stun on this. Such a good opening move for this guy. Weighted anchor's going to increase his accuracy and crit. But now these guys are perfect to Q. And we can also set up the, uh, the fan favorite here. Wow, that ability's kind of cracked. <laughs> why? <laughs> Wraith, why? That's not what I meant to do. God damn it. I meant to just stun him. Okay, no, he did weighted anchor anyways. It's fine. It worked out. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. No disease, please. Although we do have a disease removal if we do get one. So that's not too bad. Compassion is a rarity in the fever pitch yeah. of battle. Nice hit. Come on, Eileen. Do, 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 do. One hit kill on that guy. Lovely. This is such an interesting group. I absolutely love these guys together. And honestly, Eileen 
is gonna go crazy for the leper. She is gonna absolutely love him. How? Okay, it says, I'm a bit confused. On the tooltip, it says five to six, but I clearly just healed for seven. Where am I getting that extra healing from? Or does he receive extra healing? Oh, he receives extra healing. Okay, that makes more sense. The slow death, unforeseen, unforgiving. Okay. Another battle. Oh, we do have a first chance at turn here in this battle. That could be problematic. We'll see. No turn, no turn, no turn. Ah, that's okay. Just stress. We can deal with stress very easily. Dude, you need to stop doing that. Double stun there. Nice hit on you. Q can hit for... It can, it can technically kill here, and it did. Nice. Because that guy was stunned, I took the gamble. So it's like, even if I don't kill him, he's still stunned. Ow. That's a good crit heal right there. I'm really liking Kimber as well right now. She's doing very good. I think now that she's leveled up, her healing skills are actually getting to the point where they're a bit more useful. First time round, they went amazing. Let's pull Yuzu up front. Didn't work, but I did get the stun though, so that's fine. That's a big hit, wow. Nice one, Eileen. Taint, no thank you, please. Okay, thank God. Didn't get tainted. Did get the pull this time. Good, good. Confidence surges nice kill. Rumbles. Not liking our current HP, I'll be honest. Everyone's a little weak. I'm going to go for a hit on that because I'd rather uh, get another heal in here. Only one across the board, lovely. Ah, oh, bollocks. There's a crit for 45 though. Love that. We unfortunately got rid of our holy water, so we can't do much with that right now. Um, emeralds have good value here. This is tricky. I definitely want the portraits. Um, let's take portraits for crests and take emeralds for anti-venom. And we, we do need another stack of money as well though. Like where the hell do we stack our money at this point? I guess I could firewood. But then I'd get a trinket that I can't hold anyways. Bollocks. Um, this is really tricky. I guess I really want to keep my bandages, but another stack of money is very important for us. Um, yeah, we don't have any holy water for that. Just touch it, see what happens. Oh, bollocks. That's... That's really bad. We don't have anything to get rid of that either. Until camp, so we're going to have to camp soon anyways. Right. Do this battle. With you having less damage and accuracy, it's going to be a pretty rough battle, this one, but do it anyways. Get that going on. Are oh, you resisted? Damn. Beautiful heal on Eileen there. In she comes. Still hasn't got a kill off the bat yet, which is a shame. But it'll happen eventually. Not worry. Good hit there. That damage reduction is pretty big. Brian could disease us, but luckily we dodge it. Very nice, Kimber. 
I'm looking forward to see what letter she sends back to her mentor after this as well. Give him some of that damage back. Ah, oh, the miss. Unfortunate. Bring you forward with a stun. It's kind of funny how, like, in his backstory, he made out to be this lethal killer, and it's actually not doing a lot of the killing here, which I'm sure isn't his preferred way of fighting, but honestly, with, with the frontliner, um, Awale, it's just insane how crazy he can go. The shirt must go on. Unfortunately, didn't get the kill there. Go for a group heal here. Damn. That group heal being RNG based 1 to 4 is really rough. Damn dodge there. The fishing undoes that heal, unfortunately, and a bit extra. Pick you out at least. Ah ha lovely crit there. Nice one. We've kept stress so low here. They adore you. The student exceeds the master, it seems. Okay. Another crit there, lovely. Yeah, there's the crests I was kind of not hoping for there. It's fine, we'll leave that. We can probably crack one of these open and see what we get. We've got enough shovels. More money, lovely. Right, we've got a quest location there. Right, we're about ready to, to get heading out now. More money. Oh, dude, this is rough. Um, I'm going to get rid of the emeralds for another money stack. I, I want to keep my keys on me in case we get a secret room. There's still a chance. The light, the promise of safety. Quest location is there. Okay, so I think we camp here. Which we could get an, uh, a nighttime ambush, remember. Didn't need the stress heal there, but oh well. Right, so first things first, let's produce a trinket. Yes! I have been hoping for this trinket. So badly. Like, so, so badly. Oh my god. It is so, so good. <laughs> um, right. Then, let's see what we can do here, so... Damage versus humans, um... Remove disease. Let's go with the coin flip here and see what we get. Dodge, 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 and speed. Okay. And then, do that. And I guess just do the extra damage versus humans. We'll see if we get a nighttime ambush. Likely that we will, but let's just see. Yeah, unfortunately we did. I didn't pre-scramble my party either. God damn it, I always forget about that. We're probably going to take quite a bit of stress here, but it's no worry. It's going to be a little rough to start with. It'll get better. Back nice. Blow some of that stress. We got rid of that debuff as well, which is nice. Disease resist is lovely. I can't believe we got the syringe. I was so hoping for the syringe. It's It, it can be used on any class, and it's a huge bonus to healing skill. That's nice as well. Beautiful. I know I didn't really need to do that with him being stunned, but it's fine. Another one Good falls. hit. Awesome. Medical syringe is going to be taken. This I might get rid of the life ring, to be honest, because we've got multiple of them. So I don't need to keep that around. Stun on you. 
Nine healing. Look at that. Beautiful. And that was not bad at all. Came out of that smelling like roses. May we, find victory. we can get rid of our shovels now. Right. Okay. Now, this is going to be the hard bit. So, we got to start getting rid of shit for this. I think first things first, life ring, I'm sorry, you're good, but we found better. Next time I think it's keys. No secret room either. Right, we could get battles on the way back here, we do have to prepare for that um, inevitability. There's, I'm sure we'll get at least one. I think next up to get rid of his torches. And this has been really something. Also, I didn't do any diary entries um, while we were camping, so let me go over some of those now. Another hunger check, that's fine. Finding the stuff is only the first test. Oh wait. Now it must be carried home. The way is yeah. lit. The path is clear. We require only the strength. Because we're going back, it. we shouldn't use too much torch light here. We'd have to go back quite farther. Right, let's quickly go over our diary entries again here, see if we've got any more. Next one is from Koshkin, our bounty hunter, uh, by Rookerin. The man sits quietly in the bar, turning, uh, tuning out the noise of celebrations at the doom of the necromancer, refusing the drinks offered, sipping a, cr a cup of fresh juice, lost in thought. He handles the center, uh, the census, censor? He handles the censor he took as a trophy from it, but he knows better. It's hardly a prize. The, um, the damned it rose could barely stand, let alone fight. Too easy. Impossible um, he was responsible for the infection of dead. More likely an underling thrown to hope he'd be left alone. Fools uh, fools don't realise the job isn't clear. Not uh, not nip a bit. Mad woman, is still, mad woman is still an effective killer, and the random junk um, had some use this time. Our Hamlet Boy Scout did the holy duty through and through. The old one, um, too, is... Uh, the old one's... The old one, too, is odd for, for a reason. What shocked him was Basilla, his employer, stepping to the field. She was employing some tactical pointers he gave. Um, and did it well. But plenty that, uh, that was... But plenty that was her own. A difference between her mending and the priestesses was... Um, was hers... I really apologise. I am so dyslexic right now. Um, a difference between her mending and the priestess was hers felt more rubbery. If it knits the wounds and keeps him alive, it's irrelevant. Very nice. I apologise for, again, butchering that. I am a fool. Right. Um, okay, another diary entry here. This one's by me, for Lysander. The horrors that I witnessed in the Weald have shaken me to my very core. The twisted, fleshy abominations that lurk in the shadows haunt me in my dreams. I'm going to pray and try and find solace in my faith, but the images of blood and decay refuse to leave my mind. These horrors have reminded me of my past, of the atrocities I witnessed in that village so long ago. I can feel my mind slipping, my grip on reality growing ever more ten uh, tennis. Maybe coming here was a terrible mistake. Goddamn. Right. We've got a few more diary entries to go here. We've got two more, I think, to end it off. Let's uh, let's skip on through this mission and head our way back. Yeah, I apologise when I'm reading a lot of stuff in my brain. It don't work sometimes. But th this group... Okay, here's a battle. This group did fantastic. We could end up getting Collector here. I honestly don't think I'd be that fearful of the Collector, though, with this setup. The damage that we can put out is immense. Slash coming in. The bleed coming in. We, didn't, we haven't even needed to use this. Grand entrance. Finally a kill on that. Awesome. Yeah, let's cure that. Ah, oh, the dodge. We could have got both of them in one hit there. See with Slash coming in again. More damage we don't want to take. The tune for the stress, but we dodged it, so that's fine. Oh, the dodge again, wow. 
Nine healing. He receives more healing as well, so that's even better. Buff him up again. I love this fan favorite ability with the leper. Works so well. I mean, look at that. Huge bonus to crit is the big thing there. You remind me of your youngest, <laughs> my younger self, Masterful. Really, sh Wraith is showing a lot of respect, like a lot of respect here. As victories mount, so too will resistance. So with that, don't need the keys no longer. We do have another um, trap here. Oh what? Ninety percent, and you failed it. How could you? No clemency in this place. I lost a lot of dodge there and a bit of speed too, which I don't particularly like, but that's fine. This hasn't been too bad of a mission, and honestly, in terms of our loot, what we've gained from this mission, it's been exquisite. It's been so good. I'm, I'm guessing we'll get at least one more battle on the way through here. But we'll see. Luckily, our torch didn't matter that much, because we're backtracking. It's kind of the way to do it, really. Beautiful excursion. God damn, that, that cracked blade... Hitting the executioner's block. This, I mean, this could be a constant reminder of what he's been through. Really is brutal. But he's stepped to the challenge and proven himself worthy. I think he has found that purpose he was looking for. Regardless of if it's the purpose he wants. Good, good. Okay. Return to the hamlet with a lot of money. Like, holy crap, that's a lot of money. And we also got this as well for our cleric as well, which is really nice. And, oh yes, Kim and Morgan getting up to level 2 there, I like that. Although Eileen is nearly level 3. I'm glad she isn't though, I'm glad she stayed at level 2 there. Free upgrade, it's kind of nice. Um, we can unequip all of these. I, I just, that is so... Damn good. <laughs> I'm so happy with that. Right, let's quickly check here who we've got. Ooh, yes. Okay, we have the Musketeer, which is good for a few reasons. One, it is a backliner that we've been needing. But also, we have this. For the extra accuracy. Um, do you know what? I am doing this straight away. Dr Drunken Master. Ex the loss of accuracy there is just too terrible. I'm just going to get rid of that immediately the moment she, she arrives with us. Um, But that's really good because we needed a backliner so I'm happy to have her. Let's check what we got for trinkets. Unfortunately, nothing very good. 1% damage. What's even the point in that? <laughs> Why? Right, we're looking good though. We are, we're getting ready and prepped for um, another adventure out and let's just take a little look what we've got ahead of us here. Um, maybe we want to go for this next, the Abomination. I'm sort of waiting to do this until we get a good trinket for a class we already have. 20% uh, damage while not stealth. Um, on attack hits, 20%, uh, 40% chance to stealth for two rounds. That's kind of an interesting idea with the Abomination there. Um, but I'm not quite sure if I want that. We'll see what else we got here. Um, extra pro after the first round and extra. That's pretty good too. Um... Privateer's nice. Can't be marked. That's decent. Extra damage and extra resolve. Lots of extra resolve based things. Um, on being hit, 20. That's really cool. Okay, we've got some good stuff going on there. We'll uh, look at that. That's our first long mission there as well, actually. That's some good stuff. We'll uh, come and ta to tackle that once again as we go forward. Either way, let's go to our final diary entries and leave off this episode. So first of all, we have um, a diary entry of Rose, our Arbalist. I've not, um, I've not even been here all that long and my thoughts are already scattered. So much has happened as a, um, a member of the Hunter's Guild. I need to be on top of it um, on top of it and the best of my abilities. One of my first expeditions was to, um, to an estate not too far from here. They seem to be in an even more dire situation than the, pe uh, than the people here. The area was infested with impure spirits. Some had whales that could tear apart the psyche with ease. Others had the muscle mass of a wild beast, and some had cucumbers and mallets. I'm not big on spirits, but I will say that I don't think those things should synergize so effortless effortlessly. 
During the previous expedition, I got quite sick. That even with the subpar healthcare here, it did go away without much hassle. As for the current and recent events, I went out on another expedition into the plagued forest. It was me, two shield bearers, and a quite particular little individual, Delmar. He told me he's been exterminating corruption like these for a long time. He was of great help to us in combat, landing hard strikes and denying the enemy's mobility. I'll be sure to talk to him sometime. Expertise like his isn't something we should pass by. Gotta love it. And then we have one last one here. This is for Renault. Before the dungeon. I've been here for a few months and they, um, they sincerely, um, they've sincerely been the most pleasant of my life. People don't need to see past their shallowness because they don't need to see, uh, they don't need to see the, they don't need to see, ironic, my, my bad. <laughs> but with the, uh, but with time comes great threats in this place. For every flower's um, lovely scent, there are tens um, or even hundreds of monsters with a single goal of stomping out the flower. Apparently everyone else is thought so, too, thought so too, for different reasons and for different words, but one thing we agree on, the monsters kept appearing even after we smited them down. Some people with more knowledge of the nearby ruins pinned it on the necromancer. After I heard that, I, threw, I, I knew what must be done, for everyone's sake. I gathered a crew of people whom I knew were uh, mighty and prepared, with the common goal of defeating the necromancer, and our goal was certain. But I guess not everyone saw it like that. That woman, the one who led um, me to the Landis opportunity, was doubtful in my abilities to harvest it. I reassured her, and time and time again, that nothing could break me anymore. However, I still pr um, promised to be as careful as possible, as if I didn't already plan to be, um, and so forth we went. After the dungeon, we've done it. We've slain the tower of what I presume to be the person that was the necromancer. We returned to town victorious and were praised like heroes we were. Some of us were busy reaping the rewards. Others took in all the public's attention as their own. Others, I'm unsure about. But me? For once, I felt complete. Well, not so complete, more so correct. I had done good and received good in return. For once, my efforts were rewarded. I feel like crying tears of joy then and there, but I held back. As a guardian of the estate, it's my job to look strong. Alongside the usual rewards of golden heirlooms was a sword. They gave it to me since they knew I could use it. It felt cold in my hands, almost hungry. However, it made me feel um, ready to cut down greater threats, so I keep it. Very, very nice. I absolutely love that. Really good stuff. A really jam-packed episode today. I hope you guys all enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.